Thank you, Sahani sir. Good evening, good afternoon, and good morning. This is the 1370th day of continuous webinar conducted by International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy. We welcome all of you to this session. And today, our guest is Dr. S. Bhuvaneshwari, BHMS. Let us begin the session with one minute silent prayer. Thank you all. As you all know, the International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy comprises of homeopathic lovers, students, and doctors. And we started this uh, uh, International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy at the time of pandemic by connecting between doctors among the world as well as uh, the students. And uh, we are able to discuss um, many things uh, that happens during the COVID time. And in between, uh, we have uh, uh, three sessions started. And uh, the first one was in English, and then we changed to Malayalam, uh, also added to this. And then later, we started our Hindi session. And already, we have three sessions in a row. 7 to 8 p.m., we have our Hindi session, which is already over by now. And uh, 8 to 9, the international session in English. And 9 to 10, we have our local language session in Malayalam. All these sessions are going in a high mode, very good mode. And we are updating, up, uploading all videos on the very next day itself. And what you have to do is just watch again and again so that you can study homeopathy and propagate homeopathy among public also. Uh, what you have, uh, I, I, I am requesting all of you to subscribe the same so that uh, the worship will be a very good thing for our forum. And uh, let me introduce Today's guest, Dr. S. Bhuvaneshwari, she has completed her BHMS and is working as the chief physician at Adesha Holistic Homeo Clinic in uh, Chengalpetta, Tamil Nadu. Uh, she is a gold medalist from uh, her uh, homeopathic medical college, graduating from the prestigious government homeopathic medical college and hospital Tirumangalam, Madurai, her journey in the her lamps of homeopathy began, began in 2007, fueled by answering desire to make the positive impact on human well-being, driven by the commitment to excellence and armed with the exceptional diagnostic skills. Dr. S. Bhuvaneshwari established Disha Holistic Homeo Clinic in 2015, and here. Uh, she focused on and providing personalized effectiveness, effective and natural healing solutions. Dr. S. Bhuvaneshwari's contributions extend beyond her clinic walls. Uh, her Im impact cases, case studies have been found in a place of re reputable journals such as Hapti uh, and Care, showcasing the depth of her clinical experience and success stories. Furthermore, her, her insightful online articles have been translated into different parts, different languages, and it reaches to almost uh, people from different parts of the world also. Today, we, as you know that uh, always there will be a subject of discussion, and today the topic will be vital role of homeopathy in all living organisms in acute con uh, conditions. As we know that uh, uh, homeopathy is one of the best system in the world to conquer the acute diseases in the shortest possible time. It, uh, so uh, let us invite our guest of the day, Dr. Bhuvaneshwari. Yes, doctor, you are welcome to this session. You can speak for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes from now, and we will have a discussion for 10 minutes thereafter. Uh, please adjust your camera a little more, doctor. Yes, yes. Yes, your co-host, so that you can share uh, the screen also. Yeah, good evening all. Good evening, doctor. Thank you for the wonderful introduction about me. Uh, today, I want to share my knowledge whatever I experienced in my clinic for these years. Uh, with the interest in homeopathy, I explore my uh, research line 
not only in humans but also in plants and animals uh, so i want to share how we can handle even plants or animals in acute conditions i'll share my screen now yes Vital role of homeopathy, all living organisms in acute conditions. First, I start with human beings. My passion towards homeopathy is holistic healing beyond boundaries. That's why I selected this topic. In acute conditions in human beings, first we have to give importance for these things. First, we have to rule out exciting cause, which is ailments from and the verbal expression of the patient, facial expression, PQRA symptoms, which is very, very important to rule out the peculiar character of that particular individual with the onset of symptoms and thermal Related with preferred weather, either hot or chilly or abithermal. Sometimes in acute conditions, we no need to give importance to thermal if the patient is very anxious or if the patient is semi-conscious in that state, you no need to give importance to thermal. Instead, you can check through uh, touching them if they are available in your clinic by checking the temperature, the BMR rate of the patient and the thirst, if the patient is possible to tell exactly, you can give importance to thirst. Otherwise, thermal, th thermal and thirst will always in acute conditions is least importance if the patient is strong enough to tell you the accuracy. These symptoms frame the totality of the patients. According to Honeyman and According to my knowledge, whatever I do in my practice, I feel that the framing of totality of the patients itself will cover the half of the cure because the exact similimum is very important rather than selecting a similar remedy. So according to me, I want to explain with an example. One of the my patient in my clinic, the acute migraine, the patient is very severe. The, pa the patient ages a child, girl child, with the age of five years. She is very restless, agitated, annoyed. Even she was having her hands like this on her face due to her intolerable pain towards her forehead. And she is having the history of cough and sputum for two weeks. Uh, her sputum is color is white. With these symptoms, uh, I can't be able to ask her the preferred weather and thermal because she is very restless. With this thinking, I ask her mom whether what weather she is comfortable, whether she wants to cover her body or she wants to go outside out of her restlessness. Her mom conveyed me that she is very restless, but she is comfortable by going in open air only for a few minutes. And then she wants to lie down and cover the whole body. With these symptoms, I consider and selected the remedy of Lilium Tick 200 CH, which I gave her in water dosage. I mixed one pill of Lilium Tick 200 CH in 100 ml water and gave her three teaspoons. Out of my uh, admiration, that child was very happy of within one hour. She was very happy and just say hi to me through her phone call. Like that, the wonder of homeopathy lies in the similimum rather than similar remedy selection. Why I choose Lilium Tick here is there are few reasons because the thing is that the exciting cause of that girl is that 
the previous day before going to bed her mom was shouting her brother for an unwanted reason she felt very annoyed and she doesn't like the behavior of her mom because of this reason she was saying to her mom why mom you are always scolding the bro and she went to bed with the disappointment she even didn't have her food the late night the next morning while getting from bed she was complaining i am having severe headache in the forehead with hot flushes of heat in her face with redness of cheeks and severe chillness she felt all over the body so she wants to cover her body with the duvet not willing to get up from the bed only crying continuously so with these symptoms by considering the exciting cause of lilium tick the annoyance the ailments from disappointment by the rude behavior of the person in the family and the second thing is that agitation the mental disappointment made her agitated and annoyed and she was very restless and crying she was comfortable with the open air but she doesn't want to continue her walking in open air and she wants to lie in bed with the covering the lilium tick habitat is chilly which grow in north america but it has a habitat of growing both in dry and humid conditions by considering this lilium tick i consider the doctrine of according to hanuman doctrine of signature i gave more importance which i related this baby symptom open air relief but she wants to cover her whole body when she was in house so with this and the second thing is that she had the history of two weeks or one week cough with sputum y lilium tick flores white color and the though lilium tick discharges are yellow or dirty brown all the remaining discharges especially like uh, diarrhea or lycoria but the lilium tick sputum will be white which is the clear crystal clear point for me to select lilium tick with this consideration i gave lilium tick one dose and the girl was better within one hour the second thing the second case i want to move is vas bite in a boy of age 2 years it is a poisonous vas bite in the finger the swelling of the side with stinging pain with this case we can't give importance to thermal thirst or preferred weather by considering only the poisonous nature of the vas and the swelling and stinging pain i gave vas uh, i gave apis mel 5 cg water dosage for uh three doses every five hours once two teaspoons the boy was better within few hours uh the stinging sting mark is seen which is better within few hours and my second here case and the third case i want to demonstrate here is emergency handling especially in anaphylactic shock of a girl uh, a girl 12 year old girl she was watching a uh, quite horror story with her friend in her friend's house in night time she became very restless after watching that horror story uh, immediately after came home she was very restless she was crying the onset of symptoms is very sudden and violent within 30 minutes of her crying he she started having swelling of both eyes face full of itching she was rubbing even with her towel uh, she started gasping of breath puffiness of face with the irresistible itchiness all over the body started and along with her i can see the because that uh, mom this since it is online case uh, the mother of the child sent me video there i can see she was rubbing her face in the bathroom with the fear out of fear and the irresistible itching of all over the body she was rubbing through using scrubber and towel such a itching i gave her aconite 200 cg in water dosage since aconite is a cardiac poison i didn't prescribe the repetition i gave only single dose through water 
to ask her to give only three teaspoons. Within few hours, her irresistible itching has subsided and the swelling gradually gone. And after one day in the morning, she was like that. In the evening time, even she was started her routine without any problem. These are the uh, miracles happen. These are the few gist I want to tell because it is these three are exceptional cases in acute conditions. And the thing is that I want to show how beyond the boundaries the healing is going on in plants also. I tried uh, in plants by promoting the growth in world plants or leaves, promoting growth of fruits where the plants are very rudimentary with rudiment seeds and rudiment fruit. Prevention of aphids due to weather change, enhancing blooming of flowers, prevention of locust attraction from leaves eating, enhancing the strength of roots for proper supply of nutrition to plants. This is the blooming of an orchid plant happened within 10 days where the plant doesn't get proper sunlight as this plant is growing in UK in a winter weather. Though the weather of UK is always somewhat moderate, winter extreme snowy, the plant not though it get all the nourishment, the absence of sun made the plant not to get the proper blooming though the bud started growing. So for this plant, I gave Dalcamera Dal 30CH considering the change of weather without the absence of, without the sunlight. Within 10 days by watering the plant on the root Dalcamera 30CH, mixing it in water and spraying all over the buds and leaves, the plant started blooming. This is the rose plant. Due to aphids, the plant cannot be able to grow and bloom up. Where I used in the root, I used Arnica 30CH to promote the soil nourishment and I used Calendula 30CH water dosage in the spraying of leaves, which the wonder happened within one week and the rose plant is free of aphids and started blooming. Regenerating world plant into new. Uh, one of my patients approached me with such a sort of leaves completely world uh, due to weather change and the change of plant from one part to another part. Again, the same thing, the change of weather and change of the environment and change of the soil made the plant to become very world. I asked her, the patient to use dull camera 30CH by spraying on leaves and soil which is beautifully bloomed. Healthy fruits developing from a rudimentary plant by enhancing growth. This is also get affected by aphids. The strawberry plant due to change of weather. I prescribe here the locust also started eating the leaves and the aphid due to the weather change. This is also the foreign strawberry plant where the weather is very poor and the locust is more seen in uh, foreign countries. Where I prescribe the pa patient to spray carbovich by considering the locust attraction. Here I selected carbovich 30CH because 
uh, the locust is has the aversion towards the carbon, the charcoal. That's why I prescribe uh, these are the things which I do out of my curious mind and research nature. So I ask the pay, ask that particular client to spray carbovich 30 CH daily morning and evening along the leaves and to enhance the nourishment of the soil. I ask her to add Arnica 30 CH daily. Within two weeks to three weeks, the plant started growing well and gave her fruits. Homeopathy is not only very much do wonders only not only in human beings or plants, it is also a boon, boon to animals. Treating any type of allergies in animals, treating poisoning in animals and saving lives, promoting immunity in animals, enhancing wellness of survival. These are the things I tried in animals which show the wonderful effect of homeopathy even in animals. I tried treatment of eye allergies in cats. This is also due to poor weather. The newborn kittens was very much suffered with survival of the fetus due to weather change. Both eyes glued together. Where I started giving every 30 minutes to one hour Euphrasia 30 CH. Within five minutes, the cat started opening the eyes. But this is better only for two days. After that, I gave allium sipa by considering the coriza of the kittens. Within one day, out of my surprise, the cat, the both kittens started opening the eyes and enjoying the weather without any struggle. This is another case. A dog, 14 years of age, it was limping because of their aging. The dog was walking by limping four limbs. By considering her age and considering the dog's nervous impairment, I gave Naxomica 30 CH. The next day, the dog started walking beautifully. I asked the person to give three Naxomica 30 CH three times a day. It enjoyed walking the next day. This is another dog. Got injury by the stone. Started oh, limping. What a great boy. Can I get a word? That's a good noise. What's he doing? Chewing on his toys. Need a best friend. The kingdom got affected. Oh my Out of god. Hit. She's a good girl. She's been like a nerd sailor around the world. Whoa, what's she doing? Are you kidding me? How's this dog know how to play frisbee? Oh. Within one day, the dog started walking properly. I prescribed Ruta 30 CH and Hypericum 30 CH four times a day through water dosage. I since it is a dog, I mixed it in in its milk and food. I gave three times a day for two days. The second day evening, it started walking properly without any difficulty. Another dog, due to overdosage of the parasite drug, the dog gets vision impairment. This is the history of the dog. That person gave to her pet, out of knowledge, more parasite drug. The dog's impairment, uh, vision impact. Within three days of homeopathy, the dog got the vision back. I gave here 
considering the parasite poison and the substance poison, whether it can be considered as drug poisoning or allopathic drugs poisoning. I gave this dog Naxomica 30CH four times a day for three days. The dog get its vision again. Another dog unknowingly eat the poisonous leaves, made the dog digestion impairment with continuous vomiting and loose stools. The poisonous plant name is Diffenbachia ammonia. By considering the symptoms of the dog, very became very dull, vomited many times, the nose and the mouth became warm and dry. Considering this, I asked the person to give Natramu 5CH every 30 minutes once within four doses. The dog becomes very active without any vomiting further. So these are the cases from my clinical diaries. So I want to emphasize few things to the young budding homeopaths as well as the doctors. The tips for budding homeopaths, according to me, is that stick to Honeyman Cardinal Principles. Remember one thing whenever you go down by considering the Honeyman's first aphorism, the, the high and only mission of a physician is to restore the sick to health to cure as it is termed. This is the uh, theory of theory or the fact even in modern days, suited for the homeopaths, where we are do, we can able to do wonders by considering the Honeyman's cardinal principles. And the whenever you follow the organon of Honeyman as a Bible of homeopathy, and considering the Materia Medica in a proper way uh, by giving similimum rather than selecting similar remedies or rather than giving mixopathy like the quacks do. We always should be differ from classical homeopath from the quacks because we are learning the master of Honeyman theory and philosophy for five years along with all the biological principles and the human body as a whole. So with these thought process, we always should follow the least theory of at least the two theory we have to follow in our practice is law of similum, similum and law of minimum dose. These are the two ways this will act as a key to cure. So according to Honeyman, the wonderful principles when, whenever we follow, even in acute emergencies, do wonders. There is no doubt in that the selection of similum either in acute conditions or in chronic cases will give you the idea and the way to select a proper follow-ups in without any confusions. The second pres prescription of the remedy will be very easy, the teaching given by the Kent. So uh, try to follow the principles, whatever given by Honeyman, which is very beautiful and do wonders. Uh, since the time limit is 45 minutes, I gave only few examples. Uh, if you all want to give some more examples means I will explain. Otherwise, we can go for question has. Hope you all enjoyed. Thank yes, you for yes, the opportunity. Yes, doctor, you can present some more cases. Uh, we have 15 minutes to remain. You okay. can simply talk about some of your yeah, cases, sure, sure. experiences. Uh, for example, I want to show uh, the emergency condition, especially in human beings. One of my COVID case, uh, you all know the 2020 starting of the year in the April and May, which is very horrible for everyone, even for the homeopaths or allopaths or common people who 
doesn't know any idea about the COVID symptoms or COVID uh, side uh, side effects or what COVID will do for the human people. In such situations, I was prescribing the remedies through online consultation through for the patients who are in abroad or who are in India. Uh, one of the patient uh, started. Uh, one of the patient called me through phone, uh, which was a relative of my uh, junior doctor. Uh, she was calling me in the night time uh, with the oxygen saturation very low with 52. That lady was 52 years. Already she was a known diabetic and hypertensive patient. She was suffering without any hospital uh, admission because a lot of patients was there. Uh, the allopathy doctors asked her to wait uh, to get seats empty in the hospital where the uh, relatives and the junior doctor doesn't know what to do now. So at that time, I asked her that junior doctor to collect them as she was staying along with that patient. I asked her to collect the totality of the symptoms. Uh, she was explaining to me that the history of past history of diabetic and hypertensive with the symptoms of that lady is very restless and the temperature is 103 temperature for her. Though the temperature is 103, she was shivering with the chillness. Along with that, she needs aeration. Uh, she was not comfortable with the AZ or she was not comfortable with a fan. Uh, but the other symptom narrated by the junior doctor is that she was telling that she was very comfortable with the open air. Uh, she was looking very anxious. She wants to drink as her mouth was very dry. Uh, even started cracking due to high temperature and she started passing loose stools. With this totality, I prescribed her Pulsetla 200 CH. As the vital force is very weak, I prescribed 200 CH. I asked that junior doctor to uh, mix that Pulsetla 200 CH, one pill in 100 ml water, warm water, uh, to give two teaspoons every four hours once. Even at the midnight, I asked her to call me. Out of my surprise, that oxygen rate from 52 percentage increased to 82 percentage within three doses. So I asked her to continue the dosage, but increase the interval of the repetition. Instead of giving three hours, two teaspoons, I asked the junior doctor to give five hours, two teaspoons. The next day morning, her oxygen saturation increased to 90 percentage. So with this, the loose tools of the frequency has reduced and she passed in the morning time only two times. Her hunger regained back and she felt uh, very much comfortable without any anxiety. I asked her to check her BP and the diabetic levels. Surprisingly, her diabetic level is very normal in that stage, though she got diarrhea and though she drank electrolytes. Uh, but I didn't prescribe her to drink electrolytes often because she is a known patient of diabetes and hypertension as the frequency of drinking of electrolytes leads to renal shutdown. So I asked her to drink few ml three times or four times a day. Instead of that, I asked her to drink plenty of vegetable soups, uh, pomegranate juice without any adding extracts, add with direct extract without any adding water or any ingredients to that pomegranate extract. Along with that, I asked her to eat boiled egg, white egg two times a day with few amounts of porridge. Uh, the pulsetla, uh, I continued the second day, morning to evening, the six hours once, two teaspoons. With the evening, her oxygen saturation increased to from 90 to 95 percentage. So I asked her to stop the pulsetla in the night time when she is sleeping comfortable. The next day morning, the, on the third day, I asked to 
give that junior doctor pulse rate 200 CH every six hours once, almost three to four dosage per day. By continuing this, within three to five days, that particular patient become very normal without any oxygen cylinder support along with her allopathic drugs prescribed with anti-diabetic and anti-hypertensive drugs. Uh, this is uh, one of the wonderful case in COVID time. Uh, and another surprising case for me in COVID time is a chronic COPD patient of age 72 years lady. She was a COPD patient for 12 years. Her both lungs are very much disrupted stage. Unluckily, she also got uh, COVID with the oxygen saturation very less. Uh, I think around uh, the age, uh, around the year 2021, I think. Uh, in that year, uh, since she was a known COPD patient, she is always having the bi concentrated in her home as well as the oxygen cylinder. So it is very easy for me to treat that particular patient as she was already a old patient of me. By collecting her symptoms, she was very chilly. She was very sweating, but comfortable with the fanning. And also, she was gasping for breath. Since she was already a COPD patient, her symptoms are very common to her disease. So, in this stage, I prescribed her as she was a old lady and she was a sepia constitutional lady. Uh, her constitutional medicine itself sepia. So I prescribed Sepia 200 CH, CH or in as usual in water dosage uh, three times a day for five days along with concentrated supporter and oxygen uh, cylinder support. Surprisingly, uh, she was in a need of oxygen cylinder support with the 100 percentage. After Sepia three to five doses, her oxygen support is came to half of the level and within three days without any oxygen cylinder support she normalized her routine only with her regular dosages of uh, COPD drugs and along with that she took sepia 200 CH for five the next five consecutive days. Uh, this is a uh, two cases in COVID time which I treated I treated uh, the COVID cases, many patients. These are the two things. Anything you want to uh, know other than this COVID uh, case, uh, if you anyone suggest any uh, disease or any symptom of the acute symptom or chronic disease, if you want to explain means, I will uh, again continue my session or we can go to uh, question has. Yes, Dr. Bhuvaneshwari, it's really a very good session from you. Whether, uh, Thank you, Doctor. Even in a short span, you're just uh, going like a, a bullet, uh, just a firing bullet in a short time. That's what I must say, uh, because as we know that uh, from acute diseases are simple diseases, and but uh, you have shown uh, how it can work in different situations. Uh, uh, whether in a man or uh, or in an anim in an animal or in, uh, or uh, even in our plants, it works. You have shown uh, your your experience with that because uh, there is a doctor uh, named uh, Dr. Latif. Uh, he's a professor as well as he was the uh, retired uh, principal from Calicut Homeopathic Medical College. He was doing a uh, uh, lot of work for these uh, plants. Uh, he, he is a person who treated almost all kinds of trees uh, with the homeopathic medication and he has a lot of uh, preparations with him and all those preparations are uh, uh, having very good uh, cell, uh, uh, collection uh, by means of uh, selling this through different agencies. Uh, but unfortunately, we lost him uh, last uh, year. He was uh, one of the patron of our EMBH also. Uh, uh, have you ever heard about Dr. Latif? Uh, I think I don't know, doctor. Yes, uh, he he was uh, he, he he was really a hard working person. Okay. Uh, always uh, 
uh, do lot of research work by himself. Uh, he 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 has done done lot of works for uh, this uh, pandemic uh, during the time of pandemic, not at the COVID time, but we, even before that. Uh, uh, he took uh, the students to different uh, level, uh, places where whenever there is a, a, a cholera or uh, some kind of pandemic happens. So such a nice person we lost him. Otherwise, we could. Uh, he he has presented so many sessions in our uh, forum also. Anyway, congratulations and uh, you have shown how beautifully the homeopathy works in uh, during COVID time. Uh, because uh, we all uh, we being a practitioner at the village level, we most of the homeopathic doctors get here uh, got the opportunity to treat uh, this uh, uh, COVID uh, with a single remedy. A lot of cases. Uh, to the, there are doctors who are having five thousand to ten thousand cases in their kitty, and all the cases were uh, cured with, even without the. A fail, and then there is a, not even a single casualty opens, uh, happens with homeopathy because we know that we can, uh, once we uh, go with our homeopathic medicine, naturally what happens is that we can uh, um, uh, prevent the disease from uh, going to the extreme level or uh, complications. That's what uh, we have shown, and we and a uh, lot of doctors have the opportunity to treat the patients who are admitted in hospitals and they even. Allopathic doctors uh, were willing to uh, uh, utilize our uh, homeopathic medicine with our help. So, uh, 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 as far as uh, our uh, observation, COVID was a simple disease, and there is uh, there is nothing called uh, nothing uh, to be worried about that. And only the thing is that uh, whenever those people use those medicines, the chemical medicines. It uh, it was the villain uh, who worked for them. As uh, every one know that there is no medicine for viral disease in allopathy, uh, the so-called modern medicine. But they still apply that medicine. And that's the reason why most uh, causality is open, and that's the way most people in uh, you, you the, as we all know that uh, the number of death happens more in U.S. than any other place because they they are the people who uses. Only this is the there is the only system that allowed to be practiced in uh, um, that place is uh, uh, on the so called modern medicine. Uh, th that means uh, the the use of uh, uh, homeopathic medicine uh, was directly proportional to the number of cure uh, that happens with us. But as far as allopathy concerned, uh, when uh, they use uh, the number of uh, causality is more than. And then uh, when uh, it is directly proportional to the causal I must say. Am I right? Yes, doctor. Yes. I tried with the mold also, doctor. Uh, yes. Mold formation in home. I tried with the helix toast, uh, 5CH, uh, daily spraying in uh, mold formation. It's yes. also shown absolute uh, result free from molds. And also yes. rodent, rodent repellent also I tried with uh, latches is yeah. uh, most of the homeopathic doctors here uh, were not a, uh, not a, uh, undertook any vaccine uh, at the time of uh, this pandemic yes and doctor i too didn't use any preventive medicine or vaccination in my for my whole family also yeah and we used to treat uh, you, you we used to treat the patient I did in our clinic itself, uh, but nobody is able, to, nobody were willing to share that I am treating COVID at the time. But we were able to publish uh, some of them in our, uh, our in the Facebook and uh, WhatsApp group so that yes, people. Yes, doctor, I too did. Yes, that that that's what we can do for uh, the sister, uh, because uh, people are very much concerned whether oh we are this pandemic will may take us uh, to the heaven or somewhere else. <laughs> Uh, uh, but at the time, we can we probably can say uh, we used to tell the people that nothing to worry. We have a solution in homeopathy, and, uh, and that's uh, 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 that's uh, that's how this international forum for promoting homeopathy was also formed. It was the time of pandemic uh, uh, at at the, at the Gulf region. A lot of people were running for medicine. And some of our friends give uh, go uh, arsenic album to the people there, 
uh, and they, they 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 got a wonderful result after use, using this arsenic album as a preventive. And as a result, uh, one uh, one person um make a, uh, the, uh, undertook a video a video and audio, and it went like just it went uh, viral. And thereafter, people know that oh, homeopathy has a solution for this prevention also. Then uh, people rush to uh, different uh, homeopathy doctors to get this medicine. And that's why uh, uh, this COVID gave uh, homeopathy a better chance of publicity uh, uh, more than that. Uh, what was the situation in your uh, place uh, at that time? Uh, here also the same only, doctor. Everyone is very... Uh, and that too, 2020 is a horrible time for everyone. Due to yeah. continuous lockdown. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, and, uh, not oh. availability of hospitals or oxygen cylinders. Uh, the people are very worried and very anxious. In fact, we can say, instead of worry, we can say anxious. Definitely. Yeah. That's why the scene, that's why arsenic album come into the picture uh, of this, the, the anxiety, fear and everything that, uh, uh, not only that the patient is so much uh, chilly, most of the patients are chilly and there are also some uh, eruption and the fear and the fear of death and everything was there. That's why most most of the and the our in our national uh, council of homeopathy also choose uh, our CCRS also also choose uh, this arsenic album as a preventive. Anyway, uh, managing acute uh, disease is something great because uh, the, the, uh, once a person is able to manage the acute disease, definitely he will get uh, chronic diseases in the future and thereby you can establish uh, as a well-known homeopath in that way also. What's your particular area where you're concentrating on now? On whether in Because here in Kerala, we have a lot of doctors who are having uh, very good uh, successful cases of infertility. There are doctors who are having 2,000 uh, successful cases in their kitty. And uh, some of them are uh, from uh, Kerala. Uh, so uh, do, uh, do, uh, have you ever uh, concentrated in that line also? Uh, I am concentrating in all cases, all type of cases, doctor, because I am having a lot of cases as foreign patients. Uh, I am uh, consulting in online also. Uh, because of this, I am handling genetic cases also through homeopathy. Especially, uh, I am seeing a lot of miracles in ADHD and autism, which yes. is very common in foreign patients. That's a question. Uh, there is a question I, I shall read I have it in the message. Let's yeah. see what... Can uh, we use homeopathic medicine? To control the insect harmful to crops and humans like mosquito responsible for the dengue, chicken, guinea, etc. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, our, our most... Our, a sepia was given by uh, some doctors uh, for the same, I think. Am I right? I used uh, insect repellent as a uh, camphor or doctor. It it has done good way. Sheena, is the link chat message? But you know, no, video of one hour. Hello. Uh, 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 is, is there anyone who want to have a uh, question to Dr. Bhuvaneshwari, or if you want to have any doubt to be cleared in during your practice, you can ask the question. You can raise your hand so that we will allow you to unmute yourself and you can speak to Dr. Bhuvaneshwari. And nobody has, uh, is there anyone uh, who want to share uh, their knowledge uh, also about uh, treatment of acute disease uh, with the uh, uh, Dr. Bhuvaneshwari can come out. Uh, is there? Uh, please raise your hand. It is, it is a time. It is the time for discussion. And uh, let us wait. Uh, uh, doctor, uh, you are uh, giving more importance to acute disease or uh, taking. In a clinic, whatever, whether you are 
Yeah, being in a city, uh, you are. Oh, doctor, I am practicing in village. Oh, that's a Chengalpet is a village, village, not uh, yeah. near to. Uh, Chengalpet, uh, uh, it is not a, almost like small town, because I want to serve the humankind rather than earning much. Yes, yes, definitely. That will come. Money and fame will come naturally once you. Uh, my local patients are uh, free only. I am doing free of cost in my local clinic. Oh, you are running a free clinic also. Yeah. Oh, that means you are getting a uh, very good um, uh, pocket money from uh, your online treatment. Yes, doctor. So I am concentrating in both sides. Okay, that's good. That's a very good thing that we now nowadays a lot of uh, uh, doctors are practicing in online and homeopathy is getting popular because whenever uh, no, uh, some, uh, that's the that is the importance of this kind of, of uh, presentation because once uh, uh, soon after uh, this presentation tomorrow it's a, we will upload the same in the YouTube and people can subscribe and they can also watch again and again and uh, thereby those people who don't have any idea uh, about homeopathy will also know about uh, homeopathy. Uh, so many uh, patients are uh, reaching to different clinics after watching all these sessions. That's the beauty of our, uh, the, uh, the purpose of uh, International Forum for Promoting Homeopathy is also the same, to uh, reach uh, homeopathy every home. And that's uh, what our idea also. That's why we are uh, bringing uh, a lot of faculties from uh, different parts of the world. Uh, already uh, doctors from 65 countries presented various papers in this session. Not only uh, doctors, but uh, eminent personalities from different part of the world also present. Uh, other than, uh, than homeopathy, also uh, doctors from uh, uh, um, uh, the so-called allopathic modern medical world also. Even I read the doctors also presented. Then this, uh, so many then this natural uh, So many, so many people. Uh, that's the beauty of our session. Anyway. Uh, will you manage a case of uh, typhoid uh, when it comes to you? Uh, typhoid case is also the same way, doctor, by uh, framing the totality of the symptoms. Even in COVID time also, I didn't prescribe the only the preventive drug or Zenicam album like that. According to the totality only, I prescribed a uh, lot of drugs like Sepia, Calica, Bryonia, Pulsetla, or Zenicam album. Axomica, natrum carb, like that. In the similar way, even for typhoid also, I never give importance to the disease or the common symptoms of the disease in a patient. I'll give importance, as I already said, the PQRS symptoms, the exciting cause of the disease, thermal, thirst, and uh, anything important if they want to express or the verbal expression of the patient and the facial expression of the patient which I give more important to that. Even for example, if the patient is having fever with large quantities of drinking water, which is very common to the symptom, common to the disease. Fever means the dehydration. The body will get more heat, so the dehydration will be there. Until unless then, the fever with drinking more water will be a peculiar symptom. If the patient is having dry heat, or excess sweat. So, like this, I will differentiate the common symptom of the disease and the particular symptom of the patient, which is very important to rule out the simlimum. Uh, even in typhoid also, I will frame the totality. According to the totality, I will give the simlimum drug with water dosage, single drug, single pill, mixing it in 100 ml hot water and ask them to take if there is need of repetition, I will ask them to repeat every four hours once or every six hours once, two teaspoons or otherwise single dose, only three teaspoons. Along with that, oh. I will ask them the diet charts also. I will prescribe them diet also. Ask them to drink plenty of water, plenty of electrolytes, vegetables, fruits to avoid dairy products for uh, first one week as the typhoid affects the intestines. Okay, very good, very good. That's what a homeopathy has to do. Well, you, that's, what, that's what we all done 
during the time of COVID also. There is no single remedy that works. So you have to choose different remedies to different patients according to the, uh, the individuality of the patient. That's what homeopathy is all about. And now it's up to Dr. Grampari so, so to say a few words on that. Thank you. Dr. Dhaneji, congratulations, Dr. Bhunna, Madam. Very nice presentation. Excellent session. Thank you. And Dr. acute condition. <laughs> Thank you. Acute condition in human beings. Really uh, excellent session. And typhoid, COVID, ETC, acute disease. So very, very thanks, Dr. Bhunna, Madam. Thank you, thank you. Yes, uh, uh, we hope that you can present some more cases in the future. Uh, you can bring out some of your successful chronic cases also in this forum. Sure, doctor, sure. Because this is a forum uh, where uh, homeopathy being promoted in different levels. Anyway, sure, doctor. It will be a great opportunity for me to share my knowledge. Definitely. The, the, uh, thereby, you can uh, you can share your knowledge. We can get uh, your knowledge. Uh, not only really that, we can refer every case uh, in a different. We can look at a case in a different way also. That's the beauty of each and everybody's presentation. Anyway, congratulations, Doctor, uh, once again, and uh, we are thankful to you for your excellent session, sharing your knowledge at this forum. And we are thankful to those who attended the session also. We hope that all of you will be there with us tomorrow. Tomorrow we will have a session from Dr. Sada Fulde from Canada. And she will be talking about some of her clinical experiences tomorrow at the same time. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you all. Thank you. Once again, with that, we come to the end of the day, 1,370. And... It is over to Dr. Mariama John to moderate the Malayala session. Thank you all. Good night. Thank you. Good night.